here is a guy that's living every man's fantasy. He started in go-karts, he's driven F1s, and now one of the best supercar drivers in Australia. And he's agreed to take us for a drive. Let's meet the real Will Davison. Hey, Charlie. Hey. Ready to go for a spin? Love to. The Techno Performance Holden is based on the VF2 SS Commodore. The car is powered by a 6.2 litre LS3 engine producing 304 kilowatts. Not that it's been officially tested, but a sub five seconds zero to 100 kilometres is a definite. This Commodore comes with all the Techno interior and exterior fittings. This Holden packs a punch just standing still. For people that may not know, I mean, you started in go-karts, right? So you're, yeah. you've been a speed guy since you were how old? From the day I can remember, I was sitting on Dad's knee on the farm driving some of his cool cars and into go-karts, motorbikes, you name it. Um, it's, it's all I've ever really done my whole life. Did you ever feel like you were pressured into being a race car driver or was it just destined? My grandfather, I never met Lex. You know, he was a four-time Australian Grand Prix winner, but my step-grandfather was Tony Gaze. So Tony was actually Australia's first Formula One driver. Um, so like, adrenaline runs in your blood, but also in the environment you were brought up in. Exactly, exactly. It's incredible, like, um, I guess... <laughs> <laughs> Who's ringing? Oh my God, Esther. It's just Jamie Winkup. Yes. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, you know, you just got me mid-interview. I'm with Charlie. We're Hi, going, Jamie. We've got the GoPros going. We're doing mid-interview, and then my phone <laughs> just starts ringing. <laughs> mid-interview. Oh, nice. This is going to make it. Yeah, I think you're going to make the cut. So... This is not scripted. <laughs> is it true that you um, have opened up a car wash cafe? Yeah, and if you want to call through, uh, I'll just make sure the place is looking presentable. Well, yeah. we, we might swing by for a coffee then. All right, bye. Yeah, Jamie Winkup has a cafe car Can wash. Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah. And it is the pimpest like cafe car wash you'll ever see. <laughs> Hey, Jamie! Hey, hey. Oh, hey, Nice to right? see you. Yeah, glad you make it. This is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Can I treat you to a coffee? Yes, please. Are you making it? I, I'm, I'm not very good, but I'll give it a crack. There you go, guys. Thank is you. That a go easy on me. What do you reckon? Mmm. That go all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. That's really Very good. good. Nice. I love this. So you're going from motorsport to keeping cars clean to back to the track again. Yeah, yeah. This has taken up most of my spare time outside of race. Still, motorsport is never compromised, but uh, any spare moment I've got. You're yeah. just a man of many talents. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy the drive, guys. I'm going to run. Enjoy the drive. Thanks, well Jamie. Done. Well done. I can't believe it. Look at your mate. You drive with him, you look like you guys fight sometimes, and then you're here <laughs> having coffee. What's the deal? Yeah, it's, uh, we've been good mates since we were little kids, so uh, mates before any of that stuff. You know, obviously racing serious. We've had our run-ins over the years, but we've been doing that since we were tiny kids, so um, post-racing, this is something he's put his heart and soul into, and, yeah, I'm proud of him. He's done a really good job, so we always hang out away from the track, but we'll be into it next week, that's for sure. Good mate. Mate's good coffee. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm out. You done? Yep. All right, well, let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Tell me about the car we're in right now because there's a certain wobble that I'm feeling that I absolutely <laughs> love. Like, tell me, what are we in? No, no, OK, so um, <laughs> this is, a, you know, an SS VF2 Commodore and uh, it's, yeah, it's got the intake, the exhaust, it's, it's got a chip, which is giving what you just described. I love it. It's like the coolest At, at idle, it's got a bit yeah. of a, it's uh, got a real rusty, uh, you know, crispness to it. But as soon as you right. get on the throttle, the mapping changes and it's quite a smooth drive. Oh, I got a little bit of a hint <laughs> then. That yeah. felt damn good. This car's got grunt. So tell me, because you are so busy, what do you do to unwind? I've got an awesome uh, six-speed shifter go-kart, which we try and do uh, a couple of days a month in with the boys. And, um, you know, it's fun, but it's, it's, uh, it keeps you sharp as well. And that's the same on the Ducati or, you know, my dirt bike, mountain biking, jet ski. Oh, my ski. God. Always trying to stay active. It's You're amazing. You dirt bike as well and you jet ski. Yeah, you well, are living the dream. Yeah, living the dream, absolutely. But... I'm growing up to be Will Davison. <laughs> it's, it's not all bad, you know. So any day I complain, um, just give me a slap across the yeah, head. Yeah, definitely I will. <laughs> definitely. 
So we've done our coffee fix. It's been a couple of hours, though. Is there anywhere we can grab some food? Yeah, for sure. Sanctuary Cove's um, just around the corner, not far away. Sounds can. good to me. One of the great places on the Gold Coast is the Black Angus Bar and Grill, located on the tranquil marina at Sanctuary Cove. What an amazing place to finish this great day. Doesn't get much better, does it? I can't believe we ran into your mate Jamie Winkup. <laughs> Pretty standard here on the GC, <laughs> never far away, but uh, no, it's good to check out his coffee shop. Yeah, well, cheers to such a fun day. Absolutely, cheers.